Hi guys, in this video I am going to discuss about InfoCMT command. So if you like to know more detail about InfoCMT command, so I to write in search box InfoCMT after click there. So using InfoCMT overview. InfoCMT is a command line program that allows you to administrator, power center, domain, user, and service. Use InfoCMT to administrator flowing object and service. First, uh, application service, domain, user, domain gateway, folders, nodes, grid, licenses, got uh, log events. Or next, InfoCMT command program. The InfoCMT support program uh, support all information about services. The Info uh, the Informatica domain has, has a separate InfoCMT program to support each application service. So there are flowing uh, InfoCMT program. And InfoCMT list of plugins and uh, running a uh, program invoke InfoCMT from command line you can issue command uh, directly or front a script batch file or other program so let's go to command line <coughs> so if i am going to write at here InfoCMT then I am getting uh, info CMT is not recognized as an external or inward internal command because the uh, info CMT is not in their C track user and John folder. So info CMT go to C track informatica 9.5.1 server after bin folder. So here place I and uh, info CMD. So this is the info CMD. Bad file is there. So if you like to know the properties, so uh, Windows batch file dot dat. So need to copy this uh, location and uh, right at your CD and paste the location and uh, press enter so uh, directory change now write to info cmd So that time it's recognized. So this is all detail about InfoCMT or uh, uses InfoCMT ISP command argument, folder command, create command, log command, not command. So there are so many different commands. Domain commands. So licensing command repository service command a help command and a list plugins and finally I'm getting the message command ran successfully to see the list of options provided by info cmd command so write info cmt dot that get log and now press enter so right here for our domain name or uh, right to uh, we have to write minus tn for username minus un for password minus pd and for service uh, severity svt and now next I am going to see either 
or domain name or service is running or not. So for this write info cmt ping so write here for domain name write minus tn minus tn so what is my domain name so this is my domain name or domain underscore bin blah blah so for this one let's copy So right here, copy this one. And right here, write uh, domain minus and paste the. And uh, for service, need to write uh, SM. For service owning, need to write SN. So minus SN. Or oh, the service name is. So the service name web int. So now I'm going to give uh, int. And now paste into. So add here service int domain or domain or underscore bin minus b89370161 b so host and port so this is the host and port was successfully pinged command run successfully to check only or domain so give only or in for cmt ping minus tn for domain and domain name press enter so at your in for cmt underscore one or double zero five two domain domain name host and port was successfully picked. Discuss about fetching service log from command using info cmd get log command. So first uh, need to write info or cmt dot back and write get log and first is uh, minus tn or uh, that is so uh, domain name so the domain name or uh, domain underscore win so let me copy this one control c and add your right to uh, our domain minus And our uh, next is our uh, username minus un. So username administrator and uh, password for uh, password write pd administrator. And next is host name and port number. So write hp. So the host name. So this is the host name. Port number double six double zero five. And 
give the column and port number 6 005 or next minus st st for start date so give at your 909 2000 or 16 and end date minus ed so the end date I am going to give today date today 7 16 2016 and uh, I am going to create uh, one text file so for this I need to write fm fm that is for format or format or text time and st start or uh, that is for or uh, service name a start service or uh, so st is for start service so, so I am going to start the service repository rs and uh, minus sm uh, that is for uh, service name int I am going to create a file name abc dot txt so let's press enter so right here I am getting the error or text ST is not a valid minus ST I need to give now press enter So add your fetch or uh, zero log event in 12 seconds. So let's uh, go there and uh, look at the abc dot txt comma. So add there and I have given or uh, abc dot or txt or semicolon. So abc txt is all I need to give to create our text file. So this time uh, fetch 0 log event in 12 second command run success. So ABC text file created. So I add your time stamp 780 PID thread. Mm. Uh, service time or uh, service name client to node message box. So one term info cmt dot Right, get log. So, this is describe everything minus tn, or uh, that is domain name, minus user, or uh, un, or uh, that is for uh, user or uh, name, or uh, pd for password, and sdn security domain. I did not use. HP hostname and port number and RE I did not use ST as start date I used and uh, ED minus ED end date RO I did not use format so I used format uh, you can use format text file XML file whatever hello uh, for output file output file name minus hello ST that is a service tag 
So here you can write your domain as RS WS and uh, service name SN. So give any service name or two service name are there. First is integration service name INT and next uh, repository service name RES. So at uh, ST stands for service tab. In this video, I discussed about the definition of info CMD command and the use of info cmd dot bat get log command and uh, in last I discussed fetching service log from command line using info cmd get log command. So now it's over. Thanks for watching. See you next video.